Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In the early hours of April 2, 2023, ISRO along with DIDO and Indian Air Force has successfully conducted the reusable launch vehicle autonomous landing mission or the landing mission of RLV Lex for which we were all awaiting and this test was conducted at aeronautical test range ATR Chitradurga, Karnataka. The reusable launch vehicles technology demonstrator is one of the most technologically challenging endeavors of ISRO towards developing the essential technologies for a fully reusable launch vehicle to enable low cost access to the space. Unlike the American Space Shuttle or X-37B space plane that performs most of their missions in orbit, the Indian RLV is designed to provide a reusable upper stage to assist bring satellites to the orbit. Now, once completing its mission, the launcher will be able to return to the atmosphere and land and for the refurbished for reuse on new missions. Employing such reusable elements for satellite launchers, ISRO engineers hope they can bring down the launch cost to $2.2000 per kilogram. An operational version would take 10 to 15 years to complete. The RLBTD program is ISRO's steps towards realizing a two stage to orbit that is TSTO reusable launch vehicle. Talking about the configuration of RLBTD, it is similar to that of an aircraft but combines the complexity of both launch vehicles and aircraft. The winged RLVTD has been configured to act as a flying test bed to evaluate various technologies, namely hypersonic speed, flight, autonomous landing and powered cruise flight. In future, this vehicle will be scaled up to become the first stage of India's reusable two-stage orbital launch vehicle. The RLVTD consists of a fuselage body, a nose cap, double delta wings and twin delta tails. It also features symmetrically placed active control surfaces called elevons and rudder. This technology demonstrator was boosted to Mach number 5 by conventional solid booster HS9 designed for low burn rate. The selection of materials like special alloys, composites and insulation materials for developing an RLVTD and crafting of its part is very complex and demands highly skilled manpower. Many high technology machinery and test equipments were utilized for building this vehicle. The major objective of this RLVTD is to showcase hypersonic aero thermodynamic characterization of wing body, evaluation of autonomous navigation, guidance and control schemes, integrated flight management and thermal protection system evaluation. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.